Today we're going to be breaking down how I do not get hurt to the body in fights. And it's not as simple as just going and doing the ab routines. There's something that I realized in my last fight camp, which has made all the difference for me, which has kept my stomach super strong and I never ever take impact and get winded. How do I do it? We're going to talk about it in today's episode. So as most of the people on this channel know from, you know, you can check out the ab videos, which I have for you. I love doing ab conditioning. I love having the six pack to protect my stomach, to make sure that when I take that punch, I don't get buckled over. But in my last fight camp, after two years off and then jumping back in and getting back into sparring and getting hit to the body and then all of a sudden getting hurt a little bit, I realized something very dramatic needs to change about my breathing. And this is a tip that will serve you so well, whether you're fighting or you're sparring, to stop you from getting hurt ever again with shots to the torso. And I actually stopped and thought about this before I filmed the episode and then actually talked to my brother and asked him if he does the same thing as me because I didn't want to give you guys stupid advice. Advice that nobody else is going to use. And after I talked to him, I went, yeah, I absolutely need to share this with everybody on the channel because he was doing it too, even though we'd never discussed it before. So we are talking about how you breathe and how to maintain a tight stomach. So I'm going to roll my shirt up here a little bit. If we do belly breathing, belly breathing is when I inhale and my stomach sort of flexes out. And then when I exhale, it can tighten in. The problem with this type of breathing is the stomach cannot stay super tight. It cannot lock up. Now, during the pandemic, because I was focusing on running and getting good running times, I was allowing my stomach to open up to really inhale all the air I could. So if I was out and I was going, oh, okay, I'm tired, instead of doing what I normally did, which we'll talk about in a moment, I would kind of relax the stomach and go like, and really breathe through here and fill the lungs up through the belly. The first day I went back to sparring, actually probably more like the first month, I realized, oh shoot, people are hitting me and this is hurting a lot more than it used to. Like I wasn't getting the wind knocked out of me, but I was definitely getting close to that point, which I'd never experienced before. So what did I do? I started trying to run and minimizing the belly breathing. So very often when people run, the stomach's relaxed and inhale and exhale is moving in and out. But that's no good if you're going to get punched. So what I do instead is I chest breathe. Now I know many people out there right now are going to be cringing. And this is one of the reasons that I stopped the chest breathing during the pandemic. One of my health professionals told me you want to be doing belly breathing, not chest breathing. But it does not work for fight sports. So what do I do? Well, I tighten my stomach as much as I can. Stomach squeezed, tight, it, you know, can't take any shots. And then when I need air, I breathe up. And I can take a full inhale, I fill up what feels like my chest, and then I... And if I'm doing a 4K run, I can keep my stomach tight the whole time, just like this, and run and get enough air as opposed to relaxing my stomach and having a shot that could sink right in. And this was something that I struggled with in the beginning of the karate combat fight camp for my debut because my muscles and my breathing after two years of not utilizing this were really struggling to get this back. And then later towards the end of camp, I was able to tighten my stomach up, go for my runs, breathe through my chest up and down as opposed to out and in. And once again, I went into the fight and I went, there's no way this guy can hurt me. Of course, in addition, you want to do ab workouts. Again, I have many routines up there that you can follow along with. You want to strengthen those muscles. You also want to make sure that you're doing conditioning for the body. So you have somebody either dropping a medicine ball or punching you in the torso. So you're learning how to exhale upon impact and you get a feel for how much impact your body can safely take without getting winded. And if you can do all of that to start, stomach, body conditioning, and then maintain a fairly tight stomach anytime you're in the fray and you're throwing shots, you know that stomach's locked down, nobody's going to hurt you. 
That is my experience in this sport, sparring with 200 pound guys who land shots on me, and I go, no, it doesn't hurt. But as soon as you start utilizing the incorrect breathing in the wrong moments, because remember, absolutely, in between rounds, you can belly breathe. On the outside, you can belly breathe. But once you get in, your chest breathing, your stomach stays tight, you inhale up and down so that that stomach never relaxes. You will be safe. You will no longer take those surprise body shots, which are just hindering your performance in the gym or in the ring. That is what I wanted to share with you guys today because I realized that it never really clicked. It's just something I did. So essentially, next time you go for your run, if you need to whip off your shirt and go stomach staying tight the whole time, I'm squeezing like I'm getting ready for a photo shoot and I'm gonna tighten those ab muscles up and I'm gonna hold that as I do my, you can start with 2K. See if you can make it 2K with the stomach tight and breathing normally. Right now as I'm talking to you, my stomach is flexed 100% and I can squeeze but still engage in conversation because I'm going up and down, up and down with my breath work. So I'm not getting that panic mode where I'm going, uh oh, I have to relax my stomach or else I'm gonna pass out from lack of air. Okay, <gasps> relax. We don't want that. We want the stomach locked in. So I hope this episode helps many people out there. No more fear of body shots. When I fought Mosab Amrani, I knew he was gonna try and rip me to the body. He had previously KO'd Liam Harrison with that left body shot. I took five or six hard ones in the early stages of the fight, but they did not phase me. I kept trucking forward and obviously got the win in that belt behind me. So if you enjoyed this episode, please give it a like. If you have not already, join the channel, get subscribed for many more tips like this, workouts, talking about other fighters. And as always, train hard. I will see you back here soon for another episode.